This study could change the way doctors think about preventing heart attacks and strokes. It finds, for the first time, there's reason to take a statin even if your cholesterol level is good. We've known that half of all heart attacks and strokes occur among apparently healthy men and women with average or even low levels of cholesterol. The trial focused on a blood test called C-reactive protein, or CRP, which indicates inflammation in the body. Of the nearly 18,000 patients, men over 50 and women over 60, all had elevated CRP but normal cholesterol. Researchers gave them the statin Crestor because it lowers not only cholesterol but also inflammation. The results were dramatic. Heart attacks were reduced by 54 percent, strokes by 48 percent, and deaths by 20 percent. There was a slight increase in diabetes. We were shocked to see that the benefit was as large as it is. We now know that inflammation is extremely important in the development and progression of heart disease. Even a little cholesterol building up in arteries can irritate the inside lining, leading to inflammation. A swollen plaque forms and can eventually rupture, causing a clot that blocks blood flow, which can lead to a heart attack or stroke. The lead author estimates that six million more patients in the age group studied alone may be eligible for statin therapy. That set off an online debate among physicians about what these results mean for their patients. 52-year-old Gloria Kingstrom has a normal cholesterol, but her father and three uncles died young from heart attacks. When her doctor found her CRP level was high, he prescribed a statin. I'm happy. You know, my hope is that um, I live long enough to see grandchildren and, um, and, and live a, a long, healthy life. The study was funded by the company that makes Crestor, and the lead author holds patents related to the CRP test, Katie. All right, so who should get this C-reactive protein test? Well, Katie, it's up for debate. Most experts agree you should test people who have at least one risk factor for heart disease, say cholesterol elevation, diabetes, high blood pressure, okay? But the question is, what do you do with somebody who has no risk factors? A 40-year-old guy who's feeling perfectly fine but who may have an elevated CRP without knowing it. So why not just test everyone and then treat the people who do have the elevated? Because it's really expensive, and there are some questions that are not answered. What are the long-term side effects, maybe over decades, of giving a powerful drug like Crestor to people who have normal or even low cholesterol? We just don't know yet. All right, good point. Dr. John LeFouc, John, thanks so much.